Welcome back to Pinos Bytes, your one-stop channel for streaming optimization adventures. In today's tutorial, we'll be tackling TV Mates playlist and custom electronic program guide. So stay tuned and get ready to personalize your TV experience. First, I would like to emphasize that the playlist featured in this video was created by myself. All channels included in the playlist are free to use, meaning they do not require paid subscriptions or violate any copyright laws. Please be aware that accessing content through IPTV services that offer copyrighted material, including TV channels, normally requiring paid subscriptions, is illegal and could result in legal consequences. That being said, let's go explore. Open TV Mate. I recommend buying the premium version of TV Mate, as this will allow you to use all available features. I discussed this in an earlier video, of which the link is now in the top right corner. You need to add a playlist before you can watch TV, so with Add Playlist selected, press OK. There are three ways to add a playlist. Stalker Portal, which only requires you to enter a server address. Extreme Codes, for which you need to enter a server address, username and password. An M3U playlist, which contains data about the display of the channels in TV Mate and the URL of the stream. We'll use a self-created M3U playlist with free-to-use TV channels. At the end of this video, a link is shown to a previous video explaining the data in an M3U list. So select M3U playlist and press OK on your remote. I have uploaded the M3U playlist to a free hosting provider, X10 Hosting, so we can use a URL. This makes it easier to update the playlist when needed. Press OK to enter the URL. When done, select Next and press OK. The playlist is being downloaded. You can now give the playlist a name of you liking. Press OK to change the name. To continue, select Next. Here we have the opportunity to add an EPG, but for the purpose of this video, I'll do that later so you can see the changes. Select Done and press OK. We're in EPG view and as you can see, all channels have been loaded correctly, only the EPG information is missing. I've uploaded my EPG file to X10 Hosting, so let's add it now. Bring up the channel menu by pressing and holding the OK button on the remote. Select Settings and press OK, then select EPG and press OK. Then select EPG Sources, and subsequently add Source. Press OK to enter the URL. When done, select OK. Notice the program information appearing in the EPG view, as well as the channel logos. They are part of the custom EPG I have made. To learn how to create your own EPG list, click the link on the left. That's about it. Don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up when you like this video, and if you have questions, please ask them in the comment section. Until the next one.